to get to a response on this Jonte Porter thing. Buckets, I'm actually going to kick this to you, but first I'm going to kick it to Larry. Because, Larry, Jonte Porter out for the entire season, banned from the NBA. We see, I mean, I, I think everybody can read in the news what he's done. I think everybody knows it at this point. Your reaction to this ban on Jonte Porter, Larry? Uh, easy call to ban a guy like Jonte Porter. Easy call to ban anyone. And I think the NBA is just glad it's not a superstar that this uh, in that this guy uh, was. You know, he's such a, a bit player. I don't think you're going to see props with two-way players anymore. What he did was so much worse than what Pete Rose did. You know, betting against his own team, giving information to guys who would have made over a million dollars on parlays had the books not sniffed it out and frozen the accounts. I mean, this is so beyond the pale and it's not a risk because betting is legalized now. This has been going on. Now we're able to catch it. But uh, I just think the NBA has a huge sigh of relief that it's not a bigger name. Yeah, I mean, again, it's almost fortunate that it's Jonte Porter. I've heard some conspiracy theories out there that I don't even want to get into, but that maybe Jonte Porter is a setup, man. I don't believe in any of those conspiracy theories, but it is very fortunate that it's Jonte Porter and not a bigger name. By the way, Japan says, who bets 80K at 1 a.m.? Really good question. And Buckets, I got a question for you because we're always, I mean, a little bit more focused on American sports on this, this early edge crew, maybe more than we should be. I'm curious in the soccer world, have we seen anything rise to the level of a Jonte Porter of this situation? Maybe not quite to the level of Jonte Porter, but we definitely have seen it more than usual in the footballing world, the soccer world over there in Europe. Most noticeably, we saw Ivan Tony and we saw Sandro Tonali, a big player for Juventus and Brentford. Some of the top players in the world over there in Europe getting season bans, getting 10-game bans. And a lot of it, again, is not for betting on themselves, but betting on their own team. And as soon as you see that level, it kind of just makes things difficult to argue against. We saw Ivan Tony bet against Brentford in games where he did not play in those matches, but still it's just something that makes it very obvious, very easy to punish, and it's something that we cannot allow in these sports.